Do you want to learn how to set up 301 redirects on your WordPress website? 301 redirects are really awesome for keeping your website's user experience in good shape and for keeping your SEO rankings growing in the right direction. I know 301 redirects sounds a little technical, but I promise it's super easy once you know exactly how to set them up. Are you ready? What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com where I help you figure out the DIY solutions for website tech and for SEO. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up 301 redirects on your WordPress website. All right, let's get started. Okay, so before we dive into the screen share training about setting up redirects, I kind of just want to explain the difference between two of the most common type of redirects. So there's 301 redirects, which are permanent, and you use these if you've changed a page's URL and you want to point that user that would have gone to that URL to a different URL because the old URL doesn't exist anymore, okay? So that's when you would use a 301 because it's like, yeah, that other page, it's toast, it's not coming back, let's do a 301. The other kind is a 302 and that's temporary. So that basically lets search engines know that the original page should keep its rankings because it will eventually be back online. Okay, so that means like, hey, just for the time being, we're moving users from this page to this page over here. Okay, so this might be helpful if you have like, I don't know, if you're like a restaurant or a service provider that has like seasonal offerings or something like that. Okay, so before we got into this tutorial, I just wanted to give you the rundown about that. Okay, so to set up, 301 redirects on WordPress, we're going to have to download a plugin to help us do this. So we're going to go to plugins here. We're going to add new. We're going to go ahead and type in the plugin redirection. Go ahead and click install now. Activate. Once it's activated, you're going to go over to, I think it's Okay, it's tools, and then you're gonna click on redirection. So it's kind of hidden there. It doesn't show up on the left like other plugins do. So it's under tools, okay? So it gives you literally a play-by-play -play on how to use this plugin, okay? We're gonna go to start setup. So if you go ahead and change a permalink or if you change a URL of your page or post, the redirection plugin can help you monitor them. Like, hey, I want to set up a redirect. You just change this URL to a page or a post that's already been up for a while. Okay, so you can go ahead and do that. Keep a log of all redirects and 404 errors. So that will allow you to see what's going on your going on on your website and see, you know, if some stuff's happening that you don't want to happen. Okay, so you can turn this on or off. Totally up to you. Store IP information. No, I'm all set. So go ahead and wait for that. We're going to finish setup. It's going to take just a second. Click finished. Okay. So how to add a new one. Go ahead and click add new. The source URL is going to be the old URL. Okay. So for example, if I, if my blog was called blog posts. Okay. I'm going to go ahead, copy that, paste it in there. And then we want an exact match. Okay. And then we want to copy the URL that we want. Like if somebody is going to this URL, where do we want them to actually end up? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and paste that in there and then click add redirect. So you will see that it automatically puts it in as a 301 redirect, okay? So we can check the redirect, which will automatically just make sure 
that like it basically it sent a crawler over to here and then it redirected the user over to this one. So yes, it is working. That is fantastic. We can also disable it. We can delete it. We can edit it. Okay. So you do have all of these options here. So basically this plugin might look a little complicated, but if we're only using it for these kind of redirects, it's super, super easy to use. So go ahead and click save. And like, let's say that you wanted to go ahead and change those settings that we set up in the beginning. It is here. Okay. So URL monitor, monitor changes to posts and pages. You can check, uncheck that. You can go through these. They can be a little techie. Like if you look at this, it looks like, hey, what? So you actually don't really have to mess around with anything too much, but just know that the options are here. Okay. So redirects, you can add as many as you need to. This is also really awesome um, just to make sure that people don't end up on 404 pages, okay? So like if you're changing the URL of, of a blog post that's been up for a while, make sure that you're setting up these redirects. We don't wanna lose the traffic. We don't wanna mess around and give our users a negative user experience. So sometimes 404s happen like that just, it is what it is. And if you don't have a custom 404 page, I actually have a tutorial that I, I'll link to below that gives you the rundown of how to set that up. So that would be really awesome just in case you forget to set up a redirect. Um, if somebody does end up on a 404 page, at least it's customized and they're not confused. So yeah, that is how you set up 301 redirects on WordPress. If you'd like more help DIYing your SEO, I have an online course that runs through all of the important things so that you can get your website on Google's good side. So here's just a little bit of an inside scoop that goes over the six parts of successful SEO. So you can see the details over at mariahmagazine.com slash easy SEO. So I'll link to that in the description below. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you found this quick video helpful, make sure that you give it a really quick thumbs up for me and then comment below and let me know what you thought and how it went. If you're not a subscriber just yet, before you leave, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all of the DIY website tech and SEO videos I have coming your way. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.